Hello again, everybody. In the previous video, I talked about how even if Pierre Polyev takes power with the best of intentions, he cannot turn the tide of inflation. The genie is out of the bottle and cannot be put back in. While I hate inflation just as much as the next guy, I can't help but see the positive side of shrinkflation. And yes, there is an actual positive, and it's this. We're being forced to take a harder look at our buying decision. For instance, we're hearing about how McDonald's food is now becoming unaffordable for a lot of people. Let me ask you honestly, is that really a bad thing? Last year, I went on a carb break, and McDonald's was one of the foods that got cut. Since re-implementing carbs into my diet after the break is over, I've started eating potato chips, I have ice cream, I eat bread, but I do not touch McDonald's. And guess what? I've regained none of the weight that I lost, even after snacking on potato chips here and there, or snacking on ice cream here and there, or eating bread. Speaking of bread, I just made a fresh loaf yesterday. And by making my own bread, not only am I paying $1 for a whole loaf, I'm also getting the freshest bread there is. Also, I can track all of the ingredients, of which there are only four in my bread. Yeast, flour, salt, and water. That's it. The average loaf of bread goes for $4. Mine costs $1 and is superior in quality and freshness. Now, the National Post just ran a piece on shrinkflation and guess which foods are affected the most? That's right, consumer packaged foods. We're talking about stuff like Kraft Dinner, Doritos, and other unhealthy processed foods you should strongly consider having in your pantry in the first place. Now, I'm not some woo-woo health freak trying to tell you how to live here. Far from it. I'm definitely not perfect. But what I'm trying to say is food insecurity isn't nearly as bad as people make it out to be if you become more involved in what you eat and take a more strategic approach. One thing we're planning to do in my household is canning vegetables. Every time we see vegetables on clearance and they still look okay we'll buy them up at that cutthroat rate that they're being offered at bring them home can them and eat them whenever it is that we're ready to eat them the bottom line is no politician is going to help you on this not the liberals not the conservatives not the NDP. We're completely on our own here and it's time to acknowledge this, find ways to work with the situation. YouTube is jam packed full of resources that will show you how to make some of your favorite foods at a fraction of the retail price. I'll also be sure to leave you a link in the show notes, check it out. It's a link to that four ingredient bread I mentioned, so I hope you embrace that. It's gonna be delicious and it's really not hard to perfect. And I'd also love to hear what solutions you've had for rising food costs. How badly have you been impacted? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and please do consider subscribing.